Okay, Pisces, let's have a look and see who's coming in. Oracle of Love for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oracle of Love. Who's coming in for Pisces? The Tower card. Okay, this is someone that's coming in and definitely going to make a huge impression on you. You know, there's a lot of changes associated with the Tower card. It can be someone with fire elements somewhere in their chart, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, because of this lightning, I feel like they're coming into your way. They're making a statement or there's a very strong or lasting first impression between the two of you with the Tower card. I think this person is coming in with somewhat chaotic circumstances. Now, for some of you, this could mean that this person has chaotic circumstances that are happening around them with career, maybe with their personal life. Um, for others, it could be someone um, you may initiate a physical relationship first, Pisces, and then move on to something more deep and more meaningful. But the Tower card can really mean, you know, electricity, um, sexual passion, energy. You know, there's fire between the two of you. So I, I like the connection that you have. But I also feel like the sequence of events to get to this person or when the two of you first meet or when you come together, I feel as though there's there's a lot of sudden changes um, or realizations, epiphanies maybe here with the Tower card. You know, this is things that are built up and then have to be um, built back up again. So maybe they've been knocked back down and they have to be built up again. I feel like with the Tower card, there's the, this person is coming in with this sort of energy. So it could be, as I said, involving um, their personal lives, perhaps even involving other people. I feel like if this is a if this is the person, and this is their personal life. I feel like a relationship has just ended for them, and it's very raw. And it's very messy. I feel like the way things ended happened very quickly. Um, there might have been cheating involved, whether on their part or someone else's part. You know, the Tower card is self-sabotaging or destructive behavior. So someone could still be clinging to them in an unhealthy way, Pisces. Okay, the Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, energy here with the Queen of Wands. This is someone that's quite talented. Um, much like yourself here, Pisces, this person is quite creative and or whimsical. They have a creative ability or a hidden talent. I feel like they may make money of this. They may do it as a day job. They may do it as a side income. But I feel they have some sort of artistic ability here. And I think this is where the two of you will really, really bond and be compatible because of your shared interests here. Queen of Wands is often seen as a Leo. Um, and as you can see, she melodically plays her harp. So it's someone... You know, I feel like they're working on a masterpiece even. It comes to mind. So they could be working on something big, something quite creative. Um, I think they have a lot of talent. Uh, they're very spiritual or open-minded. They're very receptive to different beliefs, traditions, religions, spiritual paths, um, enlightenment, things like this. So I like the energy around them. I don't think they're very closed-minded. I think they're quite open when it comes to these things here, Pisces. You know, there's an openness. I feel like they have an adventurous side um, or a side to them that involves travel or wanderlust or exploration in some regard, whether it's for work. Um, a personal wanderlust, a personal to-do list, bucket list, or something like this. This is a person that has movement around them. So they might have lived in places around the world, maybe, um, or they may have to move a lot for work. But the ones do rule infatuation, passion, lust, desire as well. There's animals in these cards here. I think they may work with animals or have animals, have pets. Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, energy here with the Eight of Pentacles. This is a beautiful card. I feel this person is quite successful. They're coming in with money or achievements around them with the Eight of Pentacles. They have something to show for their success. I think they're quite successful in the material world. Um, I think they're quite driven. I think they're also very money driven and you tend to be this way inclined as well, Pisces. So again, more compatibility here between the two of you. I feel like this person has their finger in many pies. They have several projects going at the one time um, or they're able to manage their finances very well. I think they have a large array of investments in business, in property, in stocks maybe or something like this. Um, 
but this is a lot of hard work. Um, it could also be qualification. So I feel like this person is working towards some sort of accreditation or qualification or has acquired some sort of qualification that of higher learning that has allowed them to flourish um, and to attract the success they have attracted into their experience here with the Eight of Pentacles. They're quite peculiar. Um, they're very intriguing and they'll definitely leave you very intrigued. I feel like, you know, the majestic spider weaves his web. Um, it's never just simple with them. It's almost like they add another layer, another layer of intensity, another layer of intrigued, you know, or of fantasy, whatever it is. But I feel like there's, there's, they're just that little bit extra. They're not very simple minded folk. Um, and I can see they're very open to a lot of things with the Eight of Pentacles too, but it can be an Earth sign here. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Again, spirituality, intuitive ability, clairvoyancy. They may dabble in astrology or the esoteric arts. Um, I feel as though they've recently left some sort of relationship here and now they're finally dancing in liberation, basking in their own independence and or freedom. But not for long because you'll come along. But they won't feel chained or restricted by you in any way, Pisces. They won't feel bogged down. They won't feel tied down. It's almost like they'll be enjoying the dance, the dance of love that the two of you will be doing together. And this shows a lot of ebb and flow. It also is symbolic of fluidity between the two of you. So this is very positive. It's not strenuous. I think things will flow very nicely between the two of you. Stepping stones. I feel like some of you are going to achieve a lot of milestones with this person, possibly invest into business, possibly have children. The sea turtles oftentimes mate for life. Um, and I feel like there's there's a quite a, a, a very majestic bond that will be created between the two of you with the Queen of Cups. But she does represent immersing herself, throwing herself into someone, throwing herself into someone's arms, I should say, and surrounding herself with the emotion and just indulging in it, basking in it where she can. So I think the two of you will put each other in a very, very good mood. Um, and you'll have intuitive, intuitive ability. You'll both be able to read how you feel about each other. Um, but quite a happy disposition here with the Queen of, Pent uh, Queen of Cups. Sorry. Nine of Wands. I spoke too soon. <laughs> Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Energy. This can be defensiveness, actually, with the Nine of Wands. This could be what this person does for work. I feel like they're quite opinionated. As much as they're open-minded, they're quite passionate in their beliefs. And they'll never fail to let anybody know. They'll never not express themselves. So I like that they're vocal and they can speak their mind here, Pisces. They're quite intellectual here. But I think there's defensiveness to love. Um, there's some sort of resistance or defensiveness. I feel as though this person's past relationship they may have felt very suffocated or restricted, and this is not something they're wanting. Of course, we'll explore how your relationship will be in the extended reading, but looking at this card with the Nine of Wands, they may have a fire sign ex who's been involved in their life and still is in some regard, um, but it could indicate legal battles. It can be the need for protection um, or for copyright or something like this, which would... Um, relay back to this person's job if especially if they have a creative talent then their ideas you know their work um, would be copyrighted and protected in some capacity here and this is what the nine of ones could really be relaying but it is capricious energy um I feel like this person, you know, you can see like there's a support network, a support group. So I almost feel like they have a large following or a support group of some kind here. They may be dealing with an issue here um, or a substance problem. Um, but I feel like they're a part of some sort of community group or humanitarian group um, or they're part of a large team in their workplace, but they have a lot of people around them. This could also be siblings, but I feel as though they're just one of the many. Like I almost feel like they have a very large group of, uh, of friends or a very large networking um, contact list or something like this because I feel like they connect with people very well. Okay, the Seven of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy with the Seven of Cups. 
Seven of Cups is the two of you both have the same long-term goals. You both have a vision. You both know what you want to work towards, but you just don't know how you're going to get there. I feel like this person is going to make that journey all the more enjoyable, all the more interesting, all the more memorable here, Pisces. And you like creating memories. You're very sentimental. Um, you're quite nostalgic and you're a bit of a dreamer. Um, I think this person is quite similar to you in a lot of ways here with the Seven of Cups. But I can see that these this couple here, regardless if you're opposite sex or same sex relationship, you know, there's a lot of planning and vision that's going into this relationship or into this relationship's future. And I think the two of you are very much on the same wavelength when it comes to what you, the both of you want and the sort of time frame that you want to achieve these goals in. So essentially, the Seven of Cups is having a vision, knowing what you want, knowing what you want to manifest. You just don't know how you're going to do it. Um, so I like that the two of you share the same vision, share the same goal. Oftentimes, it is seen as scattered energy because you don't know where to start. So sometimes it can be seen that you're over, it's almost like an overwhelming energy because you want a lot of things. And sometimes you have this about you, Pisces. You can be a little bit impatient. So it's almost like you want everything and you want it now. You want it yesterday. Um, but it's almost like if this person is also coming in with this energy, I feel like there will be certain times in the relationship where the both of you can feel a little bit overwhelmed with what you want because I think the both of you want so much. But as I said, it's not always the destination, it's more so the journey. It's more so the steps that you take to get to that destination. It's the journey that's the most memorable um, here, Pisces. But I think they like to plan a lot of things. I think they have a lot of goals for career or for work or for emotion. I think this person has a lot of goals in their personal or their family life. Like they want a certain amount of children. They want to be married by a certain age or they want to be remarried or moved in with someone by a certain age. They want to have traveled the world by a certain age. I feel like there's a lot of personal goals that resonates with this person's emotions um, that's coming in here. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, this is beautiful. Destiny, fate, luck, chance, law of attraction, the Wheel of Fortune really encompasses all of it. But this this is definitely the gods, the universe that's sending you this person through serendipity, through a chance meeting, though what you may deem chance or coincidence, it's really pointing to a bigger picture here with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel this person is very lucky. And oftentimes the fish is seen to be quite lucky too. I feel like this person has been lucky in life in some area. Could be with finance. It could be how they were raised, like quite an up, uh, quite a privileged upbringing maybe. It's something to do about cycles and it's something to do with something being interconnected or woven into each other. Some of you, your lives are already intertwined here, Pisces. You're already connected in some way. You might have not met, but you work in the same industry. Perhaps you work for the same company, perhaps your neighbors, perhaps you know the same person, but something is already interconnected. You can see all these vines and it's, again, it points to quite a maze. I mean, I think this person is quite a mystery, a little bit enigmatic, a little bit alluring or evasive at times, even here, Pisces, but I think this will keep you very engaged. You can be a little bit fickle, but I think for the most part, this person is going to, it's almost like there's a, a maze to their heart or a maze to their mind, and they're quite intricate and detailed. But the Wheel of Fortune is a beautiful energy to have, Pisces. It really does reiterate that this person is meant for you. There's cycles, complicated cycles. You know, things start to get more serious. If, you're, if you haven't had that serious long-term relationship, the Wheel of Fortune coming up in this reading could very much indicate that this a more complicated, a more complex, a more serious, a more um, interwoven relationship that will achieve milestones for you lays ahead here, Pisces. Beautiful. But this can speak of abundance and prosperity. So this person, if they're not very fortunate or very uh, famous or uh, have a lot of abundance around them now, I think they have luck in this area sometime in the future. I think it's in their destiny to be lucky. Okay, the next card over, Ace of Wands, Aries Sagittarius Leo here. You do have quite a bit of Wands cards, but the Ace of Wands is this new beginning. 
Um, it is the universe speaking to you. It is signs. It is symbols. Ace of Wands. There's movement with the Ace of Wands. This person may be coming from abroad. You may be meeting abroad or at a time when you relocate in some regard here with the Ace of Wands. I feel like to see the Ace of Wands, the foxes here, they're very clever and or conniving. So again, this points to this person's mind. I think they've got a very interesting, philosophical, yet enigmatic mind is what I'm seeing here, Pisces. And you're going to be very fascinated by them. There's a certain, there's an element of fascination with the foxes. Um, and I think they're very charming. They've got a certain allure about them. And I'm not even sure if you'll be overly attracted to this person looks wise, Pisces, but there's definitely, they have that sort of charm. You know, it's almost a bit of like a dangerous charm or, or something like this. And something, it, it sparks something inside of you each time you see this person or talk to this person. But the Ace of Wands is fire energy. This is passion. Um, you know, this person has fire. They have motivation. Possibly even have a bit of a temperament here as well with Ace of Wands. Let's have a look and see around the time that the two of you will meet. Okay, I feel like these cards want to come out. And they're upside down. Five of Wands, Four of Swords, the Judgment card, and the Three of Swords. Okay, the Five of Wands. I feel like you're going to meet at a time when there's a lack of cohesiveness in a project or in a friendship or in your personal life in some regard here, Pisces. The Five of Wands is lack of cohesion. It's something not working together or in a lot of exterior influences, people's judgments, people's advices coming in here, Pisces. And this could be siblings saying, why aren't you settled down yet? This could be friends that um, are being quite selfish and putting their own needs first and not listening to you. It's a time where some of your relationships are experiencing some sort of hurdles. And I think this person is going to show up in your life around that time with the five of ones energy. For some of you, it is something to do with a project or other people are involved in one shared idea, one shared goal or one outcome or, or are there to achieve one outcome, which would be like a work project or a collaborative environment maybe, which you often are involved in Pisces. So I think for some of you, you're meeting this person through this collaborative environment. Now, the Four of Swords can indicate trips, withdrawal, retreat. Um, you can meet through some sort of spiritual or religious path. You might meet at a church, um, at a yoga class, a meditation class, um, at near a religious venue. Um, you know, at a cemetery, there's a, there's a tombstone here. It's going to be so different for all of you, but I just wanted to put that out there. It could even be like meeting at a history site. It's a site of respect or reverence, though. And this is where the two of you may meet. For some, it's definitely through the community. There's a community feel here. The judgment card, the children, the family, they're all coming together. Um, embracing and facing the music. So for some, it's at a performance, it's at a venue. Um, or it's at a time when you're receiving judgment for your work, praise for your work, constructive criticism for your work, critique. You know, judgment is all about reviews, probations, um, acknowledgements or critiquing some sort of work or performance or, or um, creative pursuit in some regard here with a judgment card. But it is a community feel. There is children. So you could in, even meet through like play dates or school functions. Um, if you have children, it could be that you're, the way you meet is your children become friends and then you meet this other person or you're introduced to them through like a school mum or a school dad or something like this. Now, the Three of Swords is here. I definitely feel you'll have a lot of decisions around you that you need to make when this person is coming in. There's also a possibility that two people will be coming in. This could be two different people here. And they come in at the same time and you're conflicted, Heat Pisces. You've got choices. Your head will say one thing, your heart will say another. But there's, there's choices that need to be made here. And I'm seeing that you're going to struggle in choosing um, it could be a third party situation or a lover's triangle. And I think around this time is when this person is going to show up into your life. But look, I will leave it at that.